Hello, I'm Olga Yatic, Miss Virginia Senior America 2003. Welcome, this is Fashion Notes. Now for a change, I'm going to talk about men's ties. If you would like to know, they are coming back. Try to mix the old with the new, combining classic pattern with a little slimmer modern shapes perennial favorites like polka dots and stripes gives a punch of freshness on slimmer ties. Floral on light colors complement the grays popular in many suiting. Traditional ties are four inch wide but will shrink to three and a half. Stay away from skinny or too wide, old vile patterns. It should not be too loud. Choose design they're woven in, not stamped on. You can consider bow ties. They are never out of style. They are classically traditional, but it looks new again. I hope you will find this information very uh, useful we're choosing your next tie. Now about the ladies' accessories. Berry stones, like a juicy raspberry accessory, deep purple and rich blues are making comebacks. And they look great as a pattern leather bag, handbag or as a pack tights. Shoes, booties are still going strong with a more feminine touch with open toes and stiletto heels. Chunky heels will still be popular, but consider adding sexy stiletto pumps. Animal prints are the new black. If you are looking for a neutral alternative to black, brown or beige, think animal prints. Leopard prints are perennial favorite. If you are inclined to keep your wardrobe classic, adding animal print accessories is a good way to spice things up. Jewelry. Costume rhinestone jewels like big necklaces, rings, brooches will add a touch of decadence to the fall wardrobe. Prada is offering beautiful lace handbags to go alone with gorgeous lace dresses. They are for bravest handbag collectors. But for the rest of us, lace tuck excuse me, lace tights will be the less expensive alternative. Accessories are very important, but more affordable way to update to your look. Now let's go shopping. Happy shopping. Now I have a bit us in the studio today, one lovely lady, and you are in, going to enjoy very much her, her creation. She spent so many hours creating her garments and I met her at one of the shows that she was in and I was very very impressed with, with her work. Her name is Caroline Turnbull. She is local as I always said we have locally so many interesting and talented people. I think I sound I think very you know like a broken record you know telling you every time we should support our local talent. Uh, she makes most beautiful dusters and jackets and uh, uh, vests. In, they're all one of a kind and they're different. And also what's most important is they are wearable on both sides. So you buy one garment and then you can wear them on both sides and like a, a two garments in one. Well, let me introduce Miss Caroline Turnbull. She's here with us today in the studio, and she brought with us most amazing jackets. She's going to explain to us how she does it. I can see here in little uh, things that she has here, like a little, what's the little mouse? It's a, it's a little um, insect. It's uh, just insect. sort of a, oh, sort of an add-on. So pretty, and, and also we are going to have a mother. She's going to show us because we would like to show as many uh, garments as possible because they're all different and they're all interesting, one of a kind, so when you buy one thing, nobody in the world will have it, just you. 
Uh, and uh, uh, Carolyn, how do you, when did you start, first of all, when did you start your business and how did you get the idea to make the jackets? Well, I started this back in um, 1991. I took a class from a lovely lady out at Quilt Patch. Her name was Judy House. Unfortunately, she's no longer with us. She uh, passed away from breast cancer um, mm -hmm. about three or four years ago. She inspired me so much. Unfortunately, it took me two weeks to make my first garment, and I thought, oh my, maybe I've done something wrong, but I love fabric. But actually, she didn't make uh, clothing. She made uh, like a covers, you know, like a quilt. Originally, and she did. And then you applied a technique to wearable art. Well, exactly, and she, um, she really inspired me to start off making these, and I enjoyed it so much that I've been trying to think of different things to make. I first started with vests, and then I went to... Um, because this is probably less, you know, to work. Less it's work easier. Less work and easier. It's easier. So easier. It, you know, huh? And then I went to dusters, and then I designed jackets, and I have really had a lot of fun with it. I love fabric. I love to put them together. And the fun part on a jacket is that you have to have, if you see on that sleeve, you mm -hmm. have to have the inside that goes with the outside so that when you turn back your cuffs, as you'll see on uh -huh. our um, see. model, uh, it is it a coordinate coordinating, and uh -huh. it looks nice with the other side. Yeah, this is really, you have to have artistic eye to do that because not everybody will know how to do it. For example, here you have some kind of, I don't know, dots in different colors mm -hmm. and then you in, inside they're like a they're little cats. cats. Wow. And they're, you know, the same color. How did you, you know, get that, you know, to be, you know, coordinating? You really have to look hard to find I do. coordinating fabric, you know, to complement each other. Otherwise, it will not look good if it's something, you know, weird inside. But this is such, such a, you know, a coordinating beautifully. And edging, look at this edging. You have to see this edging on both sides is the same. And so many stitching, I don't know, millions and millions probably, um, uh, yards of, of, you know, stitching in one garment, which is amazing. Do you make it like one size which fits all or, or no, you know? I make it size like small, medium, large, extra large, I and see. sometimes fluffy to fit people who are a little larger. I see. Because they have trouble finding nice things for them too, so. Uh -huh. And so if you just wear, for example, very plain something like mm -hmm. you are wearing like a black you know a shirt and black pants and it will out you know update any outfit and it will look really especially on the dirty day you know to have something colorful yes. on you it's really uplifting and and beautiful and so when you started making you made first for yourself and then you, did people ask you where did you get it and yes. then then you decide well if I can do, let me, you know, do, you know, for other people so let they can try. Let me try. So I did. And here I am. Yeah, I know. And the rest is history, as you can <laughs> say. Rest is history, for example. Let me tell you about, ask you about this little um, vest. Is this like a for red hat ladies? This is for red hat ladies. And it was in such big vogue that I decided that I would find some red hat fabric. And so I did, and then I decided... So the fabric comes like, you know, with the hats already on, printed. already printed. Already printed, I yes. see. Oh, and you found the purple fabric to go with it. So yes. this is absolutely fantastic. And do, can you uh, wash it? Yes. And you it's can. washable. Well, what else That's can you, you know, you want can, it? You, you can know? spot wash it, or you can throw it in the washer and dryer. I recommend... Um, that you use something like ivory snow, uh -huh, like some, uh -huh, and then you fun. throw it in the dryer with a big fluffy towel for 10 minutes, and then let it hang to dry for the rest of the time. Because you don't so even have to iron. Oh, no, no, no. And I think this is wonderful also for traveling. You can, you know, pop and comes out, you know, beautifully. You, you know. roll it. Oh, you roll it. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a secret. See, mm -hmm. she tells us a secret how to wear her <laughs> garment. Um, and um, who is your customer? Like, you know, do you have a ra different range of ages? Or, you know, what do you think? I think everyone loves them. 
I, I've there had, is no age there's limit. No, there's no age limit. Um, they pro probably start in their late twenties and then they go up. Um, I'm sure teenagers would love something like Oh, the teenagers like, that. like it. They don't have the money to yeah. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> they do like it. And I have people, little kids, maybe nine and ten, the little girls are going through my racks uh -huh. and they're looking at it and they're going, oh, mommy, look at this one, look at this one. And they just enjoy all my fabrics um, because I like to, as you have pointed out so kindly, I like to choose different fabrics. And, and they're all cotton. Yes. All yes. cotton, you yeah. know, the beautiful, and you can see, this is my our model, Aisha. She is modeling this lovely, lovely jacket with a kind of black and white, and inside is, is a touch of uh, red, and inside is only black and white. Mm -hmm. All Japanese and this is fabric. lovely for traveling, you know, and you can just wear it and it always, you know, you, you, you know, come back where you're going in perfect, uh, you know, not wrinkle and no. it looks absolutely fabulous. I may have a few on, on the jackets on the back, I don't know if you can see it, but she brought so many, she was working so hard so you, she can show uh, her beautiful, beautiful creation, and she's getting ready, you know, to show in the fall. She has several uh, shows coming up. Let's see, Aisha. Look, this is very colorful, like a pinkish. And let's see, it has some kind of uh, lady yes. silhouette. She is what um, this manufacturer calls the mod lady. She's ah. done in something like a retro 60s. And, and, uh -huh. she, and so you can you know, wear it on the other side. It's mm -hmm. a plain uh, classic black and white, which is really nice and also you know, warm. Keep your shoulders warm even in the, in the you know, summer when it's a cool evening, you really can wear it. Yes. And also you can wear it actually year round, isn't yes, it? Yes, you can. You can wear it. Okay, let's see, she's coming back with another beautiful uh, uh, vest. Oh, this is so colorful, blue and black I and white. And this is a little cat. Yes, I call this my I Dream of Jeannie vest because I it reminds of me of the, um, of Jeannie as she would come out of the, out of the vase. Oh, and the this vase. reminds me of the eyes and everything. Uh -huh. And the other side is just a colorful blue, a different kind of blues. It's You are buying a locally, or can you buy all the, or you have to order from some company? I buy locally. Um, I buy um, most of my things at the Quilt Patch in Fairfax City. Mm -hmm. I buy um, also at G Street. I buy a lot on the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on what it is, but if I, I can pretty much tell what the colors are going to together to be uh -huh. and sometimes if you ask them kindly they will send you a this swatch is, uh -huh. this is something interesting so what kind of fabric was that was it one uh, this is cotton oh, and I, what I did so was beautiful. I put um, what I call a fuzzy applique on the on the on on the striped side. Uh -huh. There's one on the front and one on the it back. It has a metallic in it. Or yes. This is metallic uh, it's thread. It's metallic. And it's, you can really see it on this one because it sparkles and I did oh. sort of curlicues on the um, on the fuzzy applique. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a little different, you know. Yes. It's a less, like a less wild, like, you know, this, for example, hats oh, yes. or cats or things <laughs> like This is more traditional kind exactly. of. Exactly. But so you, so you have, a, you know, ready for whoever, you know, like somebody who likes traditional or somebody who, for example, like very colorful. Mm -hmm. And of course, our model is beautiful, so she, everything looks fantastic on her. And especially this, so it's a lighter color inside and a little darker outside, so you can wear it on. But do you, do you make um, pockets? I don't make pockets. They're difficult because if you wanted to have a reversible, probably it's, it's difficult it's to do it. It's very hard to do it and make it look nice. I tried it and I decided I did not like it. So I'm sorry, everybody who wants pockets, not on my garments. But that's okay. <laughs> they can have inside, you know, something if they want. But of course, everybody is very caring person. That's fine, you yes. know. 
it's you know it's not that necessary and this is you know of course that we are talking about you know redhead society lady can wear it with a red hat so look at this and purple inside this is really and there are different kind and it's amazing there are different style of hat look at this one you know wild sleeves yes also a little some interest and very interest very interesting and on the other side is a little more uh, tame colors mm -hmm. and uh, you saw whatever mood you are in you can turn around and just you know wear it uh, in different ways and everybody will think you have two jackets but exactly. you have only one so it's a good investment you know you just buy one and you have a two two in one so each garment actually is reversible exactly everything I make is reversible I and it, unless you unless you flash and show the other side nobody knows that you have a uh -huh. different garment on but I think it's so. a surprise when you open up and oh, it it's is. something I think it's a big it surprise and if, even for you and also you know for people they are, you know when you take your coat you say, oh, I don't know, something inside is mm -hmm. totally different she's coming again with something something very cute <laughs> Uh, those are flowers, kind of? That's orange. a batik. Um, and it's got little dots on it. They put on when they made a batik um, out of the fabric. Uh, it's a wax resist uh -huh. technique. It's all done in Indonesia. And on the inside is a, um, I think that has the, the um, blue. It, it's a uh, Japanese print. Um, the name for it escapes me right now, but it has the characters. So when you have a fabric, do you know you're going to make jackets or vests or do you, what do you have in mind? Or when you start working and then just an idea comes and then you start doing it? Well, if I'm going to make a jacket, I have to know ahead of time or a duster because it takes me four yards of fabric to do each side so of actually either it one. takes eight yards of fabric. Correct. Four, uh, four on the outside and, and the four inside. on the inside. It's a lot of fabric. And one for the for the piping or yeah, the know, points. Uh, points. Yeah. I call wow. them points because they. Uh -huh. um, so do you end cut up. the points uh, and then you you go on machine and that's how you finish or you finish this and then put on the garment? No, they are each pinned on separately. They're inch and three quarter squares, and you sew uh -huh. on one side and then. Turn oh, it over and stitch uh -huh. on the other side. So wow, you have but you know so many stitching. You know here's another wild amazing. one. <laughs> yeah, this is the pretty <laughs> green and blue and pink and I, I just peacock uh, feathers. Oh, peacock feathers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Inside, yes. So beautiful. I love them. They're so wonderful. And she makes it, them look so pretty. Oh, yes. You know, it, it's, you know, it helps that you be young and thin and beautiful oh, yeah. and everything. <laughs> look, but of course, you know, every of your garment is absolutely magnificent that everybody, I, I know there are lots of labor of love uh, in, 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 you know, in these garments because, you know, I'm sure you, how many hours does it take to get, to, uh, let's say, a jacket about? Well, because it I'm takes sure you are not doing like a, a straight, you know, to finish from start to no, finish. You um, cannot do I that. I have I have to get up and walk around. Um, uh, otherwise, I would be permanently hunched over my uh, sewing machine. But a jacket takes me um, at least four days to to finish, and that wow. is working about eight hours a day, uh, sometimes more. Uh, a vest will take me a day to two days, depending upon size and what I'm doing with it. Uh -huh. If I'm putting a lot of fuzzy appliques on something, then it takes me longer. And a duster takes me in between three and four days of at least wow. eight hours a day. Wow. So I Do you listen to the music or something yes. to amuse yourself? Just to just to keep noise in the house. Um, of machine. And, and, well the machine isn't that's that's sort of soothing actually to me. And we have uh, an antique dry sink. This is a piece of furniture where the um, back when they didn't have running water, they uh -huh. would have yes, a big bowl, bowl of water. They'd wash their dishes in it. Uh -huh. 
we have one sitting behind my sewing machine, our cat gets up in the dry sink and has a piece of um, sleep there. Yes, she goes to sleep and because it's cool, probably it's a ceramic it's, ceramic uh, sink. No, it's um, it's wood. Of it's, wood. It's wood, and she has her piece of fleece, fake fleece, and she is asleep there as long as I'm sewing. Uh -huh. So I have company. Because you know you have a, like a side music with your sewing machine mm -hmm. that put her to sleep, I guess. <laughs> well, she likes to be where I am, and I do like to listen to music. And yeah, so also, also she pros still. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> so she it thinks makes all more, my more, fabric more is hers. <laughs> Let's see Aisha again. This is another very colorful. What kind of uh, some? Uh, it's a lady doing different things. She's shopping. She's riding a bicycle. She's riding a scooter. I see and all the, the things inside, this lady does. Yes, and on the inside is a um, a very colorful pr print. I think that would be just perfect for some, you know, teenager or young, you know, person, yes. you know, because it's you know this is the young lady that does all different things. And also, you can turn around and, you know, wear it on the other side, mm -hmm. which is really uh, unbelievable. Uh, so I'm sure you have a wonderful uh, report from your uh, probably repeat people that, you know, see yes. you at the show. Yes. Because they expect you there and they look for you. And, and they, they want to know what I've got new. New. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure all the artists have something new, you oh, know. Yes. Because, you know, you get bored doing one thing and you have to think of something mm -hmm. else, you know, to do something well else, which is, you know, also very interesting. So are you going to tell us what is going to be your next project? Well, I'm just going to be working on garments um, for the rest of the summer. I My first show is at the end, toward the end of September uh -huh. with Sharon Pierce at um, the wearables and accessory show at Nova in Annandale. Uh -huh. And then, um, I, of course, I will. I know for sure that I will be doing the Carolina Craftsman Classic Show in October out at the so Expo you're really Center. So very, very busy. And the and the um, Northern Virginia Handcrafters Guild Show at it's coming Thanksgiving up before weekend. It, yeah, yeah, before the holidays. Exactly. So, you know, she's a busy lady. Do we have more, Aisha? Let's see some more <laughs> things because I would like to show you as many as possible. Be, uh, so you will be still amazed, you know, at what she is doing. Uh, this is another very colorful, pretty. It goes really with any, absolutely any color. Mm -hmm. You can wear it, you know, with jeans or little dressy things, you know, with a piece of jewelry. It looks absolutely perfect. And, you know, you will be noticing her clothing, definitely. You know, you will be really, you know, when, when you arrive, everybody will know. Because, exactly. You know, <laughs> you're different. colorful and different, and you don't buy it in your neighborhood store. No. Absolutely. No. No, this is something that I really appreciate, that people still take so much time to do th these garments. And, and cannot justify, you know, the time that she put in each garment, you know, and eight uh, yards of fabric plus, you know, so many hours in it. Another vest. And tell us what is this? You know, some interesting uh, pictures there. Well, this is from one of my very favorite fabric companies, Alexander Henry. And this is, um, I call it Chicago because it looks like the Roaring oh, Twenties yes. in Chicago. Uh -huh. And when the movie came out, I thought, oh my goodness, this is... And the costumes. Yes. Look at the costumes. Yes. Are absolutely beautiful. And I, I saw the fabric and I fell in love with it and I had to make a, oh, a you vest. Have, and what's inside? Black and white, mm -hmm. classic black and white. So when you feel a little wild, 1920, you turn <laughs> on the other side and start on the other side, you know, a wild one, you start dancing Charleston. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, but someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Who is wearing it. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. You know. And some... The jackets and uh, um, vest, which uh, sells the vest, you know, the jackets or the vest or, or duster. Dusters are, I think, very practical. Do we have any duster? I would like to show um, some duster. There's because duster is in a longer, 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's we have one, one right here, one here that you can see. You can too. see here what that we have hanging there. Um, the actually, duster one. is a, like a longer version of, of, of jacket without yeah. the sleeves. It's called duster. I don't know why. When they're dusting, you know, clo uh, uh, I don't. I don't think they're going to be the <laughs> wearing this. But this is mid calf length, and uh -huh. it has slits up each side so you can sit and sit down and get up gracefully. Um, without tearing your clothing, and oh. that and I think you put the duster on when you have a good clothes on, and you want you want to dust the house, you put something on that you can you know, throw in the washing machine, and then you know save you a good dress. You know that's why probably in old days they call dusters. Exactly. That's how it started. Probably. That's what I think. But this is very colorful too. This has I, I remember th these are called kanji. And on the blue vest that she had on a little uh -huh. while ago, those are called kanji. It's the Japanese symbols for um, the different oh, words. Oh, yeah. I see it's a little kind of oriental style. Mm -hmm. it Beautiful. Is. And what's the inside? Show us the inside. The inside oh, the is a pretty hand, blues, a different kind boutique. of blues. Yes. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I think. Yeah, really lovely. So actually, I would like to thank you, Carolyn, for coming today and showing us her beautiful thing. And thank you for watching. I hope you watch next time with another artist and craftsman from our area. And uh, it was a pleasure to see Carolyn to her today with her beautiful, beautiful clothing line, which is, of course, different. Thank you, Carolyn, for coming. And thank you for watching again. This is Olga Yeftis reporting for Fashion Notes. Bye-bye. It was really, and thank you very much for coming well, today. You. I really enjoyed it so much. You're no.